Hello and welcome. In one of my YouTube video I had the comment how to use the sysmalloc command with string tags. We can use the sysmalloc to perform some data we need to allocate before we use the tags inside WinCC but generally we don't need to use this of course in some of cases we need but in this video I will show how to use this and you can make your decision you use this or not I have some variables inside my script I have the size I have the char table with 256 elements inside and I have the sysmalloc used of this I have sysmalloc and I use the size of my table because I need to allocate some memory of my for my table so I allocate some memory for my table after I put if I need to check if this declaration is giving me error or not so if I have null I know it's error in allocation of data we have all of this information in Siemens files and we need to remember how to use this so if our size is null we need to put okay we have error in allocation of data and we need to return something like null or zero or error inside our script or inside our output value in some other case we use the else and we can for example print the allocation is okay and we can return something like a a a a a this i used on input output element in io field on output value c and i use the data format string so after i use this i should have the aee on my script so i run this and script is running is allocation of data is okay and my script is running so i allocate data with sysmalloc and my string and table with chars is working correctly if you have situation that you need to use this sysmalloc you have the option how to make this correctly see you next time and make sure you subscribe my channel for more videos in next weeks see you